Testing, testing. testing. Chris, Chris, you read me? Loud and clear, Danny. 20 minutes. Time for one game of laser shoot. Great. Ah! Ready, Chris? Walkie talkies working? Good. These librarians are meaner than a sleep deprived bulldog and with worse breath. They come from a time when libraries were silent and they do not approve of community events. I bet that's awkward, seeing as you're the library community events manager. Oh, there's some friction. Then why invite them to your birthday party? To give them pain. <laughs> ah, Sylvia. Happy birthday to you, etc. The librarians propose a wager. If your team win laser shoot today, we will run the Christmas party. But you hate the Christmas party. Yeah, it is so noisy and jolly. But if we win, which we will, then you agree. No community events for a month. <laughs> Sylvia, don't do it! You're on. I take it you've read Holland Van Spuren's legendary book, How to Win at Laser Shoot Every Time? No? Pity. You should read more. Let's take them down. Chicken will be ready in 18 minutes. When you're shot, your gun will be deactivated for 30 seconds. During this time, you're not allowed to move. No spitting, bombing, or heavy petting. No eggs, and no yodelling. I don't like it. Oh. Stop, you little girl. You're too short, sozballs. Too short? I'll short you. It's okay, Beth. We can't always do what we want. We'll wait here till we get cut. And no unaccompanied children in the laser zone. I will wring your neck. I'm really sozballs, but that's just the rules. It's okay, Sylvia. I've been practicing my commando rolls. I've never heard such great news, Chris. Okay, tactics team. Let's split up. And remember, we have one thing they don't have. Team spirit walkie-talkies. Go team! Uh, go shoot each other, whatever. Time starts now. It's roomier than it looks from the outside. Nice hippo. Let's go! Who shot us? Helga's in the tower. We're pinned down. We need to take that tower. Chris, you take the left, I'll take the right. Gotcha. Wait, your right or my right? Pardon? He said he's got a light. I, I didn't catch that. You've been captured? No, I I'm all right. You're going right. Okay, I'll go left. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Well, that went well. I thought you said right. We're stuck now. Oh, talk about a game of whispers. This is why the Bible is a load of rubbish. Uh, steady on. I, I know you're upset, but... I mean, look how confused the two of us got. That's how the Bible got passed on, isn't it? Well, I, I mean... One person told another about Jesus, and they got the wrong end of the stick and passed it on, and so on and so on. Just like the game whispers. Well, God would make sure that his word was kept. <sighs> but people always make mistakes. I mean, there's lots of different translations of the Bible, each one different from the last. Well, Salim has an Urdu and English Bible. I'm sure he'd notice if they were different. What if someone exaggerated what they heard? Tell her about the manuscript evidence. The manuscript evidence, Dad. He can't hear us. Well, people do exaggerate all the time. Come on, Beth. Sounds like we're needed. But that doesn't mean they did with Jesus. Watch your back. I'm just being friendly. Oh. More miscommunication. 
The problem is, how do we know what really happened in the first place is what was written down? Yeah, that is a problem, but, uh... Sylvia? Holly? We're on our way. Do you think Aristotle wrote Aristotle's poetics? Well, probably. There's over a thousand years between Aristotle writing and the earliest copies we have of it. And we only have 50 copies. But we have no reason to believe it's not close to what was originally written. But it's way more important whether the Bible is true. Couldn't agree more. Which is why we have 1,400 manuscripts of the New Testament that you can compare to each other. And the earliest copies we have are from just 300 years later. With one fragment as early as 125 AD. Eat laser, bookworm. But what if the stories were written down wrong in the first place? Exactly, Holly. Like the game of whispers. The truth could have got lost long before it was written down. Most of the books of the New Testament were written within 40 years of Jesus' life. Sylvia, you're 40 today, which is so, so old. <laughs> but there are probably people here who remember you being born, aren't there? It's like one of Jesus' disciples, Peter, says, We didn't follow cleverly devised stories. We were eyewitnesses. So? Or take Paul, who wrote a lot of the Bible. He met Peter a number of times. Is there room for whispers if they all went back to the same eyewitnesses? And can you show us anything written by eyewitnesses that says something else happened? Excuse me, I'd like to stop getting shot at. Ah, only a minute left. We need to get to the tower. Holly, you and Beth cover Sam and Andy. Take a corner each at the back of the tower. Chris, we'll pincer it from the front. I'll go right, you go left. Left, got it. And then I'll do a commando roll. Go team. Shoot up there, Beth. Not that way, round the back of the tower. We'll take a corner each. Sylvia, you said we should take the back of the tower, right? Yes. Where are they? I could yodel and see if I can locate them using the sound waves. No, Felix. They've lost anyway. The game is over. Silence is restored. <laughs> Not today. Well, this is a turn up for the books. I will beat you, I promise. I love it when a plan works. And no problems with communicating, because we went back to the original source of the plan, you. Just like the Bible goes back to the first eyewitnesses. Can you ever not make something into a reason for Christianity? That's out of the question. Happy birthday. Chicken's ready. <clears throat> Hope you like it. Well done. I could yodel at the Christmas party.